Okay, so we're smooth selling an FL Studio. I've already created an instance of the Reason Rack plugin, and I've also created an instance of the instrument I want to send the MIDI to. All right, um, let's choose a different piano sound just in case. All right, let's go ahead and open up this Reason Rack plugin, and we'll drop some players on so we can get some MIDI going. I'm gonna use the Scales and Chords device. And I'll also grab the dual arpeggio device and make sure I drag it directly under scales and chords so we don't have two separate MIDI out devices. We only want one. Then here, I'll pick a different patch. A different arp, something cool. Something that sounds good to me. You can go through the presets or you can make your own. We'll go with that one and then I'm going to change the, the key to something that I prefer. And of course, you know, you can go through and fine tune this however you like to. All right. The next thing you want to do is you're going to click on the plugin wrapper settings. And this is analog four. So I want the MIDI to come into analog. So I'm going to put it on input port one and you can put it on any port you want to. I'm just going to go with one and then we're going to open up the reason plugin. Open up the plugin wrapper settings here, and we're going to put the output here to one. Now, when we play a key, we'll be able to hear it working. So, what we can do is record that. All right, cool. So now we'll click into the piano roll so we can see what's going on. You might want to change that. So I'm just going to quantize everything. Alt Q, accept, whoops, and um, also select all of them. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> select all of them, Command A, and then hit Alt L uh, to turn on legato. And I actually want to move this note over, and I'll just do that manually there. All right, cool. Now, let's say you want to burn this to MIDI. Now, just in case this does something weird, because there's still kind of bugs going on with it. Sometimes it might not even open for you. Just in case it does something weird, I'll select all the notes, Command-C to copy, and then what you can do is go to the channel rack, and you're going to right-click on the Reason Rack plugin, and burn MIDI 2. You can do the current pattern or a new pattern. I'm gonna go into the current pattern. Alright, and this is the weird thing I was talking about. Right, so here we still have a chord rather than the individual notes. So if this happens to you, you can just hit Control Z and get it back pretty easily. And what you wanna do is slightly move this note off the grid. Now, if you hold down the option, you can get more incremental option or alt, you'll get more incremental uh, movements. Now, I'm going to do this again. Go to the channel rack, right click, burn MIDI 2 current pattern, and everything should work correctly. I don't know why it being on the grid messes it up, but unfortunately, it does. All right, cool. So we'll just move that to the beginning, slide it up, and now you can copy this MIDI and paste it into Analog Lab. And then you can go ahead and get rid of the Reason MIDI plugin or do whatever you were gonna do with it. All right, that's all I wanted to show y'all today. Hopefully they fix these bugs pretty soon. I know sometimes the Reason Rack plugin won't even open in FL Studio. It'll just be a white screen and you kinda gotta play with opening it and closing it over and over again or one thing that works for me is actually using it as an effect. One thing that helps is when I pick a mixer channel and open up the Reason Rack plugin over here in a mixer slot. Now, until they fix that, I suggest y'all just blow up Reason support so uh, they get it going and fix that for us. Other than that, that's the only workaround I have. And if it doesn't work for you, like I said, blow up Reason support. All right. Y'all let me know what you would like to see next is all culture, kickback, and cook up.